please introduce us to your characters and how they come to reunite in Vegas. Say that again? Just a introduce little... Introduce uh, us to your characters and how they get to reunite in, mm -hmm, in Las in Vegas. Vegas. Right, okay, you first. Um, I forget the name. <laughs> 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 Billy, 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 <laughs> Billy, thank you so much. <clears throat> Billy, Billy, uh, Billy is a is never married in his in his life, and um, suddenly at the don't ask me why at the death of his law partner at the funeral, he finds it a good moment to ask his girlfriend, uh, who's one third his age, to get married, and um, his best buddies because comes from Flatbush. These gentlemen, he gives them a call uh, to tell them they're getting married, and we meet in Las Vegas. And um, we have a couple of uh, issues uh, that are unresolved, mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise we have a hell of a good time. Morgan? Archie uh, is a retired policeman. He's had a mild stroke. He has a, a sort of an overweening son. Weaning? Overweening. That is, he's overprotective. Oh. Uh, who uh, is really respecting, respect his, respects his activities because of this. You know. So when Billy uh, calls and says he's getting married, would you guys do it? He has to use subterfuge to get out of the house. Uh, and uh, he wins quite a lot of money in Vegas. So he's he's the uh, he's the financier of the big party. Mm -hmm. And you? Uh, I'm Patty, and we're all old friends from, from Flatbush uh, and Flatbush Four. And, and <clears throat> as as Michael says, we have an, a, a couple of issues, unresolved issues, over women and stuff from the past. Not to give it away. And then uh, then um, we. We, can't, we resolve it when we're there, uh, more or less, and I'm grieving because my wife just uh, died and they, they sort of convinced me to, they tricked me into going to Vegas, I guess, or I think it is, and I'm mad at him, so uh, Michael's character, so I don't want to really run into him, but I, mean, I see him at the airport and anyway, we go anyway, and then we meet Mary Steenburgen's character and she sort of says she should stay, and I, and so, we, so I wind up staying because I tell him, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin my time here because I know my wife would want me to stay here, and so they say now I'm going to party. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, go on. And that's it. And then, and then so we we go, we go on to his bachelor party that we create and so on and so forth. And then um, I guess that's pretty much what it's done. Mm -hmm. Not to give it away. Uh, I play Sam, who is a who's retired and living in a retirement community in uh, Florida. And um, it's pretty clear from the get-go he's, re he's retired somewhat prematurely and is bored. And his wife of 40 years kind of, when this opportunity arises to go see his old dear, dear friends, um, she encourages him to go. And not only that, but encourages him to try to find his spark and, we, and, do, and sort of gives him a hall past, which is, doesn't happen in life, but <laughs> it does happen in movies. Um, and hilarity ensues. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's sort of a, a, a crazy and looking for fun, and, but he learns some things about himself, and um, things happen to him. And you just call dark. him a dork? He's a little dorky, he's funny, yeah. he's, he's a little goofy, he's a little lost, he's a little, uh, but uh, he, he grows up. And it's about time, I think. Um, I think everyone, all, all four of the characters come away at the end, uh, having come into some sort of reckoning with uh, <coughs> reality, with who they really are, and, and how important their friendship is. And my character realizes how important his, I don't want to give it away, so a spoiler alert, how important nothing, okay. how important Never mind. <laughs> so at its core, this film is a story about four lifelong friends. Talk about the bond these guys have and why Vegas was the perfect backdrop for this film. Well, the bond that they have is their 59-year friendship. Um, 
and you always trust your oldest uh, friends. And I guess, you know, Las Vegas, in terms of its, uh, its image that anything goes, um, seems like a, a, an open arena to allow people to express themselves in, in a... With, with, without oversight. For instance, you're in Las Vegas, right? And we asked Crystal, do you like older men? <laughs> you know? <laughs> There you go. Don't, Give me a don't, question. Don't, don't dodge the question. <laughs> I love older men. There, there we go. go. 